Hi, welcome. I would like to talk about the C sharp lookup today. So let's get started. And uh, so just to give you an example, I have a string array where I have various names. And suppose we want to group them by the first letter of the name. So example, if it's Yogesh, I would be grouping them by the first letter Y. And how would you do that? Typically, uh, most people uh, use like a hash table and uh, you can use a hash table to do this. But the only problem is there may be multiple values uh, for the same hash because both of these start with Y. And uh, you can do uh, some different tricks and stuff. But uh, C Sharp already has uh, something called a lookup define. And it's uh, essentially you can run an extension based on link, system.link and uh, i'm doing defining a lookup names is the array and saying go to the lookup and the way the lookup is going to work is essentially i take item which is any of these items and i'm just going to create a lookup with the first letter or the first character y and once you have it you can essentially enumerate that and the way you go is you take the lookup and you get a group then i'm going to write the group key here which is uh, going to be the first uh, first character and then I can once I have the group I can uh, reiterate on the group and enumerate and let's just see uh, when I run this what happens so when I run this you can see it's uh, basically in the group Y I have two of them group G has two of them John so this is a little bit better than a dictionary where for each key you can only have one value in lookup you can have for one key multiple values so that's the advantage of it another uh, way to do this uh, i have found is to essentially uh, use a link uh, query called group by and uh, that can also enable you to do the same thing so i'm going to be just building it and showing you so i have a test here and it's going to group uh, by then you can do the same thing you can iterate over the group and then uh, take each item in the group and print it so if i just run this let's see what happens uh, you should basically get the same results as what we got using the lookups and uh, just give it a second sometimes the scanner makes it a little bit uh, harder so you see this was from the first side and now you have it from the second one same thing so there are essentially in both cases is basically using the lookup so you might find it uh, useful uh, compared to a dictionary or a hash when for one key you have multiple values thank you for watching this short screencast if you want to learn uh, about uh, other c sharp javascript or any other things you can basically go to my website gore associates and search for these and other videos so example i can just search for here uh, javascript closures and you can see uh, you can pretty much get all of the videos that you can normally find so thank you for watching this short screencast and you have a great day